Hey, what's up there? No. Close the door behind you, Paxton. Toby? What's up? I think you're really going to like the place I got. It really has been some of the best. Do you go through? this week at the student art gallery. I walked by and I looked naturally. I looked again, not again. Toby, uh... He signed Euless. Well, now, look who done shown. I swear. It didn't take her very long to find my whereabouts, hun. And I tell you, we done some chatting last Tuesday afternoon. You take a good look at her, Poopsie. Because she didn't care on similar for the last four days, non-stop. Toby. But then I got to figuring. Now, if I'm Mondays and Thursdays, Toby is uh, Fridays and Saturdays. Queer as a $3 bill, huh? <laughs> Seven nights a week, huh? You ought to thank the Lord it didn't fall off. I think it's excruciating that you betrayed a love so pure as hers. Well, now, the three of us here, we thought up something for you. And I sincerely hope you like our little dish. Toby. There's a sleeping bag over there. It's a natural studs paradise up here. I'll be seeing you by and by. about him being in the attic. We all three swear to deny any knowledge of him being there. Agreed? Agreed. Jan, when are you going to call me? Because we got to keep that poor boy busy. I have an 8 o'clock art class, but uh, I'll be back here at 10, and I'll make it back at 2, and at 6. Poor Pax, he just ain't going to believe all this action. I just might paint another picture. And you better believe I'm not about to give in first. I uh, hope.
Frigley 1982006B4 has missed his last five political science classes and seven Chaucer seminars. Let's send out a photograph and description to all the uh, surrounding colleges and ski resorts. Now let's check with his fraternity house first, but uh, don't notify his parents. At least not yet. Dear. You know, it's medically impossible to kill anybody this way. I'm going on a hunger strike. No more hanky-panky. Out of commission. Dr. Eden here. Dr. Eden? Well, where's the poor boy gonna find Miss Drea? Do what you can. Quiggy little sticks, he ought to be polishing that off non stuff. Jovi? Mm. Don't you think we'll, uh, perhaps he's paid by now, really? Look, Jen, you listen, I can carry on by ourselves, you hear? Merely an observation. Frankly, I'm getting very bad vibrations. Uh, and, and although I, I know not, um, um, precisely uh, what manner of beast they have captivated up there in that attic. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as a member of the dormitory council, I felt it was my duty under our honor system to report. Uh, Dean, what's your guess exactly? Offhand? Hmm. Oh, well, um, <clears throat> I'd say that it was a carnivorous mammal of some sort. They've taken to feeding its steaks. Possum. Mm -mm. Raccoon? Uh-uh, no. Uh, larger, I suspect. Mm. I'd say a bear cub or a fawn or a... God knows what. <laughs> a, a sibling kangaroo. I don't know. It's something that they've labeled Quiggy. Quiggy? Intriguing. Um... Uh, you will leave my name out of this completely, Dean. Maybe not one of these women is majoring in zoology or, or a related field. No, no. Uh, you don't think it could be just sort of a hallucination? <sighs> no. Good day, Miss Cranlitz. Oh, good day. Good day. Uh, just a few minutes. Uh, uh, you will uh, <clears throat> leave my name out of this um, completely.
have a heart attack at 20? With no fresh air and all that extra... Look, it's his choice, here 